Hi subscribers, what's up? This is Viv from SlideNerd here. In this video, I'm going to talk about type of operator. I'm going to talk about null and undefined data types in JavaScript. In the previous video, we had the discussion on the same things, but we looked at them from a theoretical angle and you guys saw that there's a whole lot of concept behind each of them. Here, it's time to play with those concepts and we exactly try to understand what JavaScript exactly does with these three things. So starting with what I have here is my JetBrains WebStorm editor that I'm using here, the IDE. Now inside that I have a simple HTML page within which I have a script tag written, just nothing great inside it. Now what I'm going to do here first, I'm going to show you guys how the type of operator works. If you guys remember, type of space, the name of the variable or type of space, the value gives you the data type of that particular value. Let's put that to the test. So here let me make some variables for you guys. So at this point if you guys notice I have five different variables. The first one contains the value 10. Second one contains a value false which is a boolean value. A boolean has only two values true and false and we'll be talking about it in the upcoming video in more detail. But for now just remember that I've given one of the values which is false over here. Third one contains a string or a word that you guys know it says hi it's me Vivs. The fourth one has no value which means it has the default value of undefined which we discussed in the previous video. The fifth one has the value of null. So let's go and try to print now. Well, let me put an alert here. Now I'm going to say type of as you guys notice it is highlighted inside our IDE. Then I say space and I put my one. In other words what is the type of the value contained inside the variable my one. Now we know very well that it's a number. Let's take a look at that in action. Just save it here. Go here to our Mozilla Firefox. Refresh it. And as you guys notice it says number here. Now instead of my1 if I go here and I put my2 over here this time if I go back if I refresh this this time it says boolean because the type of this value false is actually boolean. Same way if I go here put my3 here again hit refresh it says string. If I put my4 you know very well my4 has no value which means it contains a value of type undefined. Now my5 is null. Now the type of null if you guys remember is object which we discussed in the previous video because when we are using objects in our code somewhere, when we don't have any meaningful value to give to an object, we give the value of null. Now if you don't know what an object is, don't worry about it. We'll be talking about object oriented JavaScript shortly as we go through these basic stuff first. Now these are basic things and let's finish us finish with that. Now I could also put a value directly here instead of a variable. I could say type of minus 5. If I save this, if I run this again, it's going to give you a number. I could also have something like type of double quotes and high over here again I can refresh it's gonna say string so either put a value here or put a variable here it's gonna give you the same thing now for our second little experiment we are gonna experiment with undefined now here I have a variable my1 which has no value now if I say alert over here and if I put my1 inside what do you guys think is gonna get printed let's save this let's go here refresh it as you guys notice it says undefined I could also Give it the value of undefined by saying my1 equals undefined and then if I go and hit refresh here it's gonna give you the same thing. However, you're not supposed to do that. If you don't have any meaningful value, now when you're not giving any meaningful values, it's best that you guys go here and give a value of null. So this way you will know if your variable has been undefined or has it been already given a value. Now let me show you something else over here. If you have no variable let's say you directly say alert my one let's try to run this control s and go here refresh it and there is an error if you go to firefox if you click on inspect element queue in the console you will see one statement which says my m y one is not defined which means the variable is not defined and you're trying to directly print its value however let me show you something if you put type off over here and if you put my one over there control s now if you refresh it it says undefined notice that even though my one is not declared its type of indicates undefined now this is one way you can know if there are certain variables in your code that have been undeclared let's say there is every variable let's say you make six variables over here say i1 let me just finish typing so the reason why i said initialize all the variables is because of this step now you see i1, i2, i3, i4 are four variables. Let's say you want to use them somewhere, but you've given them null values everywhere. And now if by mistake you say type of my1 over here, 
and if you go here and refresh this it's gonna be undefined however if you say i1 over here by saying type of i1 it's gonna be object which means if you get a dialog over here which says undefined that means you have not declared that variable anywhere in your code that is one nice way of finding out if your code has variables which have been undeclared so that's one start debugging trip that you guys have now other than that of course there is something else that you guys must be aware of let me remove this statement and I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say null equals equals undefined what do you think this guy this is gonna be it's true because at a high level the understanding is that null means something meaningless undefined means something meaningless and that's why they are both considered to be equal to each other now last but not the least let's talk about how we can use the null value let's say there is a variable which says my name equals null at the time of making this variable my name give it a value null to indicate that it has nothing meaningful later if you want you can say something like my name equals to vivs and now you can also check if the variable my name contains something meaningful or not you can say something like this if now let we will be talking about the if condition in the upcoming videos when we in detail but for now try to understand it the English way you're saying if my name equals equals null means does if my name contains something meaningless then go here alert saying your name is meaningless kind of stuff now if you go here to save this if you go and refresh you're not gonna see anything because my name has some meaningful value inside it however if I go here and comment this statement if I say control s here go here and refresh it says your name is meaningless so the value null is actually used to check if some variable contains something meaningful or not so this is how you can use it now again if you don't understand the if statement don't worry about it I'll be talking about it in the upcoming videos but for now we are done with the different things is a type of undefined and null in the upcoming videos stay tuned for more JavaScript if you like what you saw please like this video subscribe to slide nerd let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below have a nice day I'll catch you later